we can create folders in Windows Explorer, but let's do that in PowerShell. We have a commandlet called new item, which uh, lets us create folders and files and other stuff. So let's try it out. There's more than one way and we can test out a few. We are at uh, the top of our C drive. We want to make a folder called PowerShell, but let's first check out that there isn't such a folder from before. Get child item is the commandlet that we can use to see what's inside the C drive or any other directory. Get child item. I don't use too many aliases, but in this tutorial, I am going to use the good old DIR. It uh, gives you the same thing. It's just an alias for get child item. And as you can see, we have no folder called PowerShell. We are uh, going to use the new item commandlet in a few different ways new item and just uh, hit enter now it's asking you for a path so we type in uh, c colon backslash powershell because powershell is uh, the folder we want to create and hit enter now path number one here we don't need enter again type the reason you get this is because creating a directory isn't the only thing that uh, the new item commandlet can be used for. Now you can't type in folder because PowerShell doesn't use that. It uses directory. So type that in directory and hit enter and uh, it's created. Type dir and you can see that the folder is here. PowerShell. Just uh, clear and it's done. Let's uh, create a subdirectory inside the PowerShell folder and we can call it scripts. It's uh, the same procedure. New item. Even though we have created the PowerShell directory it is still in our path so C colon backslash PowerShell backslash script enter and enter again type directory and we can see it's uh, created clear and we can uh, do a dir here first and we see our PowerShell CD PowerShell and dir again inside the PowerShell here and we see scripts. We can um, also use uh, something called mkdir make directory and it will give you the same thing. We can make a subdirectory called uh, files c colon backslash PowerShell backslash files. Now the difference here is mkdir knows that it's going to make a directory so it doesn't ask you what type you want. And as far as I remember we could uh, use an alias for new directory called uh, ni gives you the same thing and we could also use uh, MD which I think is an alias for make directory same thing if you want to double check you can always go in on Windows Explorer and you can see here that we have uh, a PowerShell and if you've done the same thing you can see it uh, on your own computer we have just deleted our uh, PowerShell folder and as you can see it's uh, no longer here. What we can do is we can write this all on one line of text. We have the commandlet new item 
and the path which is dash path c colon backslash powershell and uh, dash and item type which is directory enter and you have the same thing here powershell is now a uh, directory we don't need to use the path we can uh, write uh, new item and uh, not write uh, dash path but uh, continue with the c colon slash powershell which we already have created so this time the subfolder scripts and then dash item type directory gives you the same thing but we haven't learned about parameters yet and how to find out when we need to use them and not but for now use them because it makes it a little easier for yourself to understand one more thing here if we know that we are going to have a parent and a child directory already we can do that at the same time we don't have to make one folder and then another folder we can just write uh, new item dash path c colon backslash parent and then the child at uh, the same time dash item type direct directory and we have did we have the parent here cd parent cd for change directory and uh, we have the child here so that's not a problem 